Today is the last day of 2021, which means that I'm making my year in review bullet journal spreads. Each year, I give my bullet journal a certain theme, which I use for the cover page as well as this end of year review spread that I do at the end. This year, the theme was floral line art with green and black as the color scheme. The purpose of the wrap up pages is to create a nice little overview at the end of the year of my bullet journal, but also just generally the year as a whole. The contents vary a bit year to year. I was actually just looking at the ones that I did for my previous bullet journals and what I decide to include, I feel actually says a lot about the year, which is fun to look back on. Anyway, this year I decided to include a themes overview where I draw out some sample squares of each month's theme that I did. I also included a playlist overview of which songs I listened to th the most throughout the year, and also a page for the books that I read, so kind of a media content consumption set of pages. I also decided to include a page for the places that I visited this year, even though it's not a particularly long list because of the pandemic, it's something that I've included in my last two bullet journals and something that I think I'd like to include for this year as well. And then last, I included a statistics overview of my sleep and tea habits, which I track throughout the year. I decided to use my letter stamps and some green construction paper throughout as a kind of consistent theme or motif, so you'll see that come back throughout these pages.
At this point, it was taking quite a long time to set up all my spreads and it's harder for me to draw or write while I'm filming. So I took a break from actually recording myself and finished up most of the spreads without filming it.
I think this November theme was actually my favorite of the year. It looks very cute and cohesive and put together, but didn't take too much time and none of the individual drawings or doodles are really hard. Overall, I'm pretty proud of the way that this spread turned out, especially the theme overview page. And that's the end of my 2021 bullet journal.